Hi, I'm Jeremy. Hi, I'm Dancy. I'm not AJ, but I'm cuter. Welcome back to the Extraordinary Times, and our first story of the day, I'm going to throw back to when, uh, you remember Malala Yousafzai, she got shot in the head by a Taliban guy who's an enormous... Not cool. Not cool guy. And so, <laughs> and so uh, you know, circumstances happened, she got sent to Britain to be worked on, and she survived, obviously. And now, tens of thousands of Britons are rallying uh, the government to try and get her nominated and win a Nobel Prize for the fact that she is just, she's becoming this symbol, this pillar of, you know, anti-oppressive government and anti-particularly Muslim oppressive government, which, by the way, is one of the more oppressive styles of oppressive government in the world right now. And our next story kind of brings out the Disney kid in me. Um, Jonathan Trapp, 38, from what looks like Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, back in 2010, he flew from England to Belgium, dangling from scores of helium balloons. Um, and now he plans next summer to go across the Atlantic from Maine to about Paris, France. Um, if all things <laughs> go right. You know. um, it does say here that he is learning how to pilot a lifeboat in case he does have to ditch into the ocean, um, you know, from score, whatever could happen. Be um, There have been four other attempts in history um, in which someone has tried to cross the Atlantic while using UN balloons, but none have done it successfully. And they all died, <laughs> by the way. They didn't just not succeed. Uh, they died. So he's taking a really big risk. Um, and, and it did state here that the, the, the furthest distance that he's already gone, um, flying by balloons, was 230 miles. Obviously, it's a lot more than that to go across the Atlantic Ocean. And moving from her nerdiness to my nerdiness, Medal of Honor Warfighter just came out from EA. And, well, EA kind of, you know, they, they like making their things realistic, uh, realistic enough, at least. And so they had employed 11 of uh, Navy SEALs and former Navy SEALs to come in and, and consult for a couple of days to give them, you know, good tips and make sure everything looks and feels realistic to the gamer. And apparently... Seven of them were actually active duty SEALs, one of which actually raided Osama bin Laden's compound in Pakistan. And, uh, well, the government found out that there were some active duty SEALs that they had consulted, and they were like, Oh, really? We need to know their names uh, now. And all of them, apparently, are now reprimanded. Not quite court-martialed, because if they actually levied charges against them, like legal charges, they could try them in court and court-martial them, and it would really screw those guys over, and they've done really great things. They gave them written reprimands, which apparently kills their careers, because they can't promote them anymore after that, basically. And two months of their salary cut out. So, you know... It hurts, but at the same time, at least they're honoring them enough to not try and court-martial them and totally screw them out of pensions and, and all the good things that they have earned by being SEALs. Going back to North Carolina, because apparently that's my spot today, uh, just outside of Lexington, there was a car, a car accident involving a Brinks security truck carrying who knows amount of money. Lots of money, <laughs> by the way. More than my bank account holds. Lots for... of money. Um, but apparently, you know, some after this accident, some money went missing. And not just, you know, 5, 10, 20 bucks. We're talking $41,000. They audited the, you know, the, the flip, and when they, when they first, you know, looked at it, all the sheriff's department was like, yeah, we got it all, it's cool. But, no, not so much. They did state that, um, they were, it was caused by a woman who improperly changed lanes, um, uh, she received a violation for that and not having her insurance. <laughs> um, it did state also that the two employees of the truck were both injured, um, but seemed to be in stable condition. Now, we wanted to not you know, have any more election stuff or anything, but, you know, politics being politics, it's never really actually over. <laughs> So, you know, instead of instead of uh, announcing things before the election, the Obama administration decided to wait till two days after to announce that General Petraeus, who was made famous by the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, uh, well, I didn't know he had been made director of the CIA until apparently today 
when he stepped down because uh, he's being investigated about an extramarital affair, which happens to also coincide with uh, later on this week, or next week, he was going to be testifying in front of Congress about the uh, Benghazi Libya attack. And so now he can't testify anymore or isn't going to be called to testify anymore because he no longer holds that position. Yeah, face palm is right. Uh, you know, the, the administration, one of, one of my big grievances with the administration is things like this where all of a sudden information comes out and people, you know, resign or duck or, in Eric Holder's case, get protected by Obama himself saying, oh, it's executive privilege and he doesn't have to testify about that and blah, blah, blah. That's the furious. <laughs> but, you know, with General Petraeus, who is not of his uh, affiliation, party affiliation, oh, that guy, oh, throw him under the bus. Get him out of here. But that is all we have to talk about today. Thank you so much for watching Extraordinary Times. Uh, there's a, a like button over here, a favorite button somewhere, a subscribe button over there. No, no, no. Let me explain. Jeremy's lost. I'm the, lost? The subscribe button's down here. Just below that's the like button. Up here's the they're share over, button. They're, they're, they're over here. They're over here. Uh, no, they're on the side now. They're, they're, they're everywhere. No. It's weird. That's I don't know. The government. The government is everywhere. Anyways, so we're going to go and, and uh, you know, argue about that. And uh, until next time, be aware. Yeah, but mine's more awesome. That's factual. <laughs> One was. Ah, uh, dang it. Dang it. <laughs> I tried. Indeed. All right. I don't try. No, it wasn't two days ago. Two days after the election. Howard, ready, set, restart.